The Lord be with you. And also with you. God the Father forgives us in Christ and heals us by the Holy Spirit. Let us therefore put away all anger and bitterness, all slander and malice, and confess our sins to God our Redeemer. Father, you come to meet us when we return to you. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Jesus, you died on the cross for our sins. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Spirit, you give us life and peace. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May the God of love bring us back to himself. Forgive us our sins and assure us of his eternal love in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Teze Gloria. God of glory, the end of our searching. Help us to lay aside all that prevents us from seeking your kingdom and to give all that we have to gain the pearl beyond all price. Through our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Hear the Gospel of our Lord, Jesus Christ, according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus came into the region of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, Who do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? And they said, Some say that thou art John the Baptist, 
some Elijah, and others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. And Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed art thou, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood have not revealed it unto thee, but my Father who is in heaven. And I say also unto thee, that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. And I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever thou shalt lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Then he charged his disciples that they should tell no man that he was Jesus the Christ. This is the Gospel of the Lord. I'd like to tell you a story from the Old Testament. It's about a man called Moses and you can find it right at the beginning of the Old Testament in the book of Exodus, which is the second book of the Bible. Now, a new pharaoh um, became sort of king over Egypt and this pharaoh didn't know Joseph. Now, Joseph had been second in command of Egypt and had prevented the Egyptians from starving during seven years of famine. And he and his whole family had started living in Egypt. And Joseph's dad was called Israel and so the family were called Israelites. But the new king said that all the Israelites were becoming too many, too numerous, and that scared him. He didn't want the Israelites to outnumber the Egyptians. So he made the Israelites do hard labour. But the more horrible that he was to the Israelites, the more they grew in number. They were having lots and lots of babies. So the king became even more horrible and he said that they should drown all the male babies that were born, but let the female babies survive. Now, there was an Israelite woman who gave birth to a baby boy and she tried to hide him because she didn't want him to be killed. But when he became louder, she could hide him no longer. And so she got a wicked basket and covered it with tar. Then she put the baby into it and set it among the reeds by the bank of the Nile. And the baby's sister watched to see what would happen to him. Now Pharaoh's daughter came down to the Nile and she discovered the baby in the basket and fell in love with him. And then the baby's sister who was watching asked Pharaoh's daughter if she would like her to find a woman who could take, after the, take care of the baby. And Pharaoh's daughter said yes. So the baby's sister ran to get her mum, who was also the baby's mum. So then Pharaoh's daughter said to the baby's mother, take this child and nurse him for me and I will give you your wages. So the woman took the child and nursed him. The child grew and she brought him to Pharaoh's daughter and he became her son. And Pharaoh's daughter named him Moses. This is a terrible story in many ways. Things had changed very suddenly with a new Pharaoh coming. I wonder whether you've ever experienced this. Perhaps all's going well and then you get a new teacher that you don't like or a bully starts bullying you at school or you get a new boss at work and everything changes. It is hard. You can survive for a little while but then your confidence is eroded and you start to feel sad all the time. You wish things could go back to the way they were beforehand. I was like that as a child. We kept moving. I found it difficult to make friends. And when I did make friends, we moved again. I used to sit in class at school and daydream, looking through the window, wishing I could go back to the old place. I think it is a bit like that for us all 
just now. With coronavirus, everything has changed. We can't do the things we used to do. Perhaps we've been okay until now, but it's becoming too much. We're daydreaming of a time when we didn't have this problem to cope with. Perhaps we're feeling sad. I'm feeling sad quite a bit at the moment. And with all the horrible things that were happening to the Israelites, it must have been hard to remember that they were God's people and that God loved them. And perhaps that's true for us too. But in the middle of this horrible story, there's a little miracle. A child that Pharaoh said must die is adopted by Pharaoh's daughter and his mum is paid to feed him and look after him until he's old enough to be adopted by her. Moses's mum must have been beside herself with amazement. This baby will grow up and set all of the Israelites free from the Egyptians. But before that, he will be fed and educated and looked after and he will be treated like a prince by the Egyptians. It is truly amazing. So even in these dark times, let us not give up hope that God is with us. And let us remember that God has a plan for us. Right now, we may not be able to see it, but God promises to have good plans for us. One of my favourite verses in the Bible is Jeremiah 29, verse 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you plans to give you hope and a future. Let us always remember this. Amen. Let us declare our faith in God. We, we believe, believe in, in God, God the, the Father, Father from, from whom every family in heaven and earth, earth is named. We believe in God the Son who lives in our lives through faith and fills us with his love. We believe in the Holy Spirit, who strengthens us with power from on high. We believe in one God, Father, Son, Father, and, Son Holy Spirit. and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Jesus bids us shine with a pure, clear light, like a little candle burning in the night. In this world of darkness, so we must shine. Viewing your small corner and I'm in mine. Jesus bids us shine first of all for him. When he sees and knows it, if our life was dim, he looks down from heaven to see us shine. Viewing your small corner and I'm in mine. Jesus bids us shine then for all around. Many kinds of darkness in this world above. Sin and want and sorrow, so we must shine. You in your small corner, and I in mine. Just as the rain poured down on the disciples in the storm all those years ago, it has been raining today in Farnham, and we've been very aware of the power of nature. Thinking about that, let us pray. Dear Lord, Jesus looked after the disciples during the storm on the lake. Help us to retain our faith in you when the storms come into our lives. Watch over our families and friends and keep them safe. Amen. Dear Lord, comfort and encourage GCSE and A-level students. Light their way in these confusing times and help them not to be anxious or afraid. Amen. Dear Lord, we bring before you our individual concerns and worries. In particular, we remember people who are suffering because of illness. We remember people who are suffering because of the pandemic. And finally, we remember those who have died. 
we thank you for the memories they have left behind and commit them to your unfailing love and eternal rest. Amen. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours. Now and forever. Amen. We are all one in Christ Jesus. We belong to him through faith, heirs of the promise of the spirit of peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. The peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, be among you and remain with you always. Amen. <laughs>